Well, Toby, thanks for your time. It's your eighth season at the Giants. How do you think that people outside the club view you? Me? Yeah. I don't know. It depends <laughs> who you ask. <laughs> I don't know. It's a tough one. <laughs> um, crafty half full. <laughs> You cop a lot of booze, don't you? Uh, yeah, from time to time. What do you think the biggest misconception is about you? Oh, I'm actually not arrogant. <laughs> a lot of people say that to me. I could cop it on social media and stuff. I might act like it on the field, but I don't think I am off the field. What do you think you're like off the field? I guess it takes me a while to uh, warm to people. Um, pretty closed off sometimes. Why is that? I don't know, I just, I've always been like that, I think. Would you get along with you? Yeah, I would. <laughs> I reckon I would, yeah. Get up to some trouble? Yeah. <laughs> Always seem to find it, so... <laughs> and hang out with people that do, so... <laughs> Have you grown up a bit since you came to GWS, do you think? Yeah, definitely. Certainly grown up when I was 18, 19. Um, look back, I used to do a few silly things. Wouldn't say I'm grown up yet, though. What sort of silly stuff did you do? Oh, oh probably can't mention it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Even just, like, professionalism when I was... 18, 19, just coming for a swim in Sunday morning, I'd be in bed hungover, but uh, didn't really come through any much of the systems as a kid, so it took me a while to adapt, I think. What's the most cutting piece of feedback you've ever been given? Cutting piece of feedback? Good question. Well, I guess I've had some pretty good chats with Leon along the way. I remember having a good chat with him a few years ago, maybe three or four years ago, about where you want to go in footy, and I think I played a couple of bad games in a row, and just asked, like, whether I want to make it as an AFL footballer and sort of struck a chord. What was it like? Was he angry? Was he stern? What sort of words did no, he use? No, just, he just posed the question. He's like, are you happy with how you're going? And I was like, I was going OK, but I wasn't, wasn't doing anything special. I mean, he thought I should be. I was up and down, so, yeah, I just wanted to make a difference, elevate myself to another level, and um, I think that was, yeah, a really good chat. Is that the turning point in your career, do you think? Certainly a bit of an eye opener. Have you ever cried in front of the group? Uh, yeah, I have. Yeah, I reckon I have a couple of thoughts. I guess when I got in trouble for uh, having a bit of a scuffle a few years ago, I had to say sorry to the boys and I was just so shattered that I was missing five or six games of footy. Is it letting the boys down? And, and is that the thing that you sort of realised from that experience a few years ago, that you actually do matter a lot? to this group, so while you're trying to be loyal to one set of friends, you're actually letting another set down? Yeah, it was a bit of that. It was pretty hard getting up in front and saying sorry to all the boys, and I guess I was also just so really shattered that I was missing so many games of footy. Tough learning experience, that's for sure. Did it bring you closer with them? Yeah, probably. Um, I, like, the boys were great. Like, they got around me and just said, you just got to work hard and get back and earn the respect, so that's what I did. So just a few tears, or were you a blubbering mess? No, I wasn't a blubbering mess, <laughs> but... Um, it's hard to get my words out. <laughs> a couple of years ago, I interviewed you and you told me you were seeing a psych to stop trying to do things on the field. Are you still doing that? Here and there. Yeah, a couple of years ago, I had a couple of suspensions and one of them was probably pretty silly. I like to think I'm on top of it, but I'm not going to say it won't happen ever again. Is it that you don't actually trust yourself in, in that moment? What is it? Oh, no, nah, you can get angry from time to time, but... No, nah, I think I'm pretty good and I'm sick of watching footy, so I want to make sure I'm out there. <laughs> I've spoken to a few of your teammates and, and friends, obviously, and every single one of them says how close you are with your mum. She's obviously visiting you at the moment. What is it about... You smile even when I bring her up. What is it about your relationship with your mum? What makes you so close? I don't know. She's been great for me along the journey. Um, always been there for me. We've had some tough chats as well. She's had to pull me into line a couple of times, but no, nah, she's been great. You get a bit uncomfortable saying nice things about people, yeah, don't I you? Yeah, do. I do. <laughs> Heath Shaw, when I spoke to him, said that when he went through some stuff, one of the hardest things was your mum goes through it as well. Is that what you found? Yeah, definitely. Um, it certainly had an impact on the family, a couple of things. Um, I remember the media following my younger brother out to the car one day. Uh, I wasn't there, they thought he was me. So that was a bit of an eye-opener for me and for him. Mum's a school teacher and all the kids love their footy, so um, when I get in trouble, she hears all about it from them, so it, would, it wouldn't be ideal. What's the hardest conversation you've had with her around footy? Oh, uh, well, I guess when I got in trouble, yeah, a few years ago, and that was probably the hardest one. What was it like? Did you just feel like you let her down, or...? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, in a big way. Especially in Melbourne as well. Um, being a bit of a bubble, she hears all about it. How'd you grovel? Oh, I think I got a pretty good birthday present that year. 
You just a uh, uh, trip to Italy, I think. I asked you before whether you'd get along with you. Would you like to be your parent? Um, not really. <laughs> I'm probably better than my brothers, though, I reckon. I'm not sure what that says about <laughs> your brothers. Well, the real Toby, then. I hear you've actually got a secret, that you're a closet nerd. Oh, I wouldn't say I'm a closet nerd. <laughs> I like my um, occasional studies here and there, but... Um, what are you studying? Just doing commerce, ma major in marketing, but slowly. I'm really good at times table. <laughs> I've been told this. Oh, really good. To say. That's probably my greatest asset. <laughs> you challenge boys all the time at the club, don't you? Yeah, it's my party trick. Nine times eight? 72. 12 times 11? 132. 13 times four? Um, not, not 13. So. <laughs> I thought you might say that. You still got it right. Does anyone beat you at the club? Nah, me and Steve Johnson used to get really serious about this. We've had a couple of big arguments and uh, a few dinners on the line, but I've got the chocolates over me. Is it true you recently went to the ballet with Stephen Cornelio? <laughs> it is true. It was actually really good. Cogs asked me if I wanted to come along. I'm always up for doing things. I'll probably go back, I reckon. <laughs> what did you like about it? Pretty good talent. They're pretty, uh, pretty impressive. It was, it wasn't traditional ballet. It was more um, contemporary sort of up, up, upbeat ballet. It was good. <laughs> you mentioned Leon earlier. What's been the lowest point between you two? Uh, lowest point? I, I don't know if we had too many low points. And what about the um, off-season trips and injuries you've had the last oh, couple actually, of years? Yeah, no, that would be a low point. Um, didn't think about that. Yeah, he wasn't too happy after the broken foot in New York, and then he really wasn't happy after capping off the ankle in Bali. What he, happened in New York, first of all? It was just kicked the wall playing soccer. It wasn't great. Thought and Bali? Bali was stiff, just <laughs> walking along the sidewalk. Should have sued the cancel there, but I didn't. <laughs> Had you been drinking? No, I actually hadn't. Only time. <laughs> Of the trip. Yeah. When you've got such a rap sheet behind you, it's actually hard to tell the club and say, no, 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 I swear I was just walking down the street and I rolled my ankle. They weren't sure, but uh, it's, um, <laughs> that's what happened, so. Stephen Cornelio tells me about a photo of you two, the first time you ever beat the Swans, and it's his favourite photo in his entire career because it was the first time that you actually achieved something together. So you're clearly great mates with Stephen. Do you think he'll stay? Yeah, I probably hope so. <laughs> He's got every right to um, yeah, just weigh up his option because I'm sure a couple of clubs are uh, dangling with some good carrots in front of him, but I'm um, confident he'll stay. And... Just finally, in 30 years' time, when this club is well and truly established and everyone looks back and talks about that bloke Toby Green, what do you want them to say about you? Hard working, competitive. That's all you really want, isn't it? Kick a goal every now and then. That'd be nice. <laughs> Premiership player? Yeah, that'd be that'd be big. <laughs> That's what you want, really. Toby, thanks for spending some time with us. I appreciate it. No worries. Thanks a lot.